Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beasts All Generation episode number 58. I'm Adam and today we got two more beasts fighting out for our spot in round two. Uh, one of these beasts I like a lot and the other one I'm a bit indifferent to. So, representing series six, the world of chaos. Book number six, Vespic, the Wasp Queen. Vespic's also the last beast of series six to fight and... Um, whether she will make half the season go through to round two or a third of the season go through to round two. It depends if she can win or not. And representing series 13, the Warrior's Road. With only two of his uh, um, teammates fighting and one of them winning, it is book number one, Slivka, the Forest Demon. Skurik, the forest demon, not Slivka. <laughs> okay, I knew I was going to make that mistake. Okay, so in Season 6, all the beasts have four apart from Vespic now. And only Merc and Komodo have made it through. In Season 13, two of the beasts have already fought. And only Slivka has made it through, whilst Vermok died to Korvax, I believe. All the way back in episode 7, and now on 58. <laughs> I know what the other series 13 beasts are going against, and I'm reasonably confident that at least one more can make it through. I'm not entirely sure, though, because their opponents are quite good in their own right. So with that, for the battlefield, we're going to go with a... Yeah, maybe a rocky forest arena? Because I don't want to keep going with the rocky terrain over and over again. But just so Vespic can have a bit of a slight field advantage, I'll have to have some rocks. Uh, Skurik um, will have the advantage of the forest stuff, but um, I think uh, the fo a rocky forest arena is a fair battlefield. Anyway, let's get to the stats. Alright, just reading the abilities and such. Um, sorry for the long pause, I was just reading the abilities. Okay, so, okay, we're back now. We're going to start things off with Vespic's weaknesses, and that is a water weakness and also wing removal. Like regular wasps, Vespic's can be killed by water, and Vespic's wings can be cut off. Um, she has minions, which are wasps. Vespic is aided in battle by the hundreds of thousands of wasps she has command over. These are just regular wasps, however, which is fine. That is a slight nerf, but it's fine. And Skurik's weakness is a weakness of fire. Skurik's flesh bubbles when it makes contact with fire, giving him extreme pain. Uh, so if Vespic's able to create fire, done. Um, so the Rocky Forest Arena, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to stick with. So with that... That is it with the weaknesses. So with that, let's get into the fight. As both the chamber doors open, Skurik makes his way out and instantly jumps into the bushes and starts hiding in there, carefully making his way around. Vespic soars out through the sky exit and sees a forest all around. Doesn't really see anything at the moment, though. She gives... She lands on the platform just above her chamber and 
just gives an almighty screech, causing all her minions and wasps to come flying over the arena and going into the forest where they will hunt down any form of life. Skurik, um, seeing this, uh, stays where he is and hopes that the wasps don't find her. Him. Vespic stays on top of her platform, though, just looking down, looking for any signs of movement. Skurik, uh, after a while, Skurik is eventually found by um, the wasps, in which he jumps out of the bushes and shoots uh, his gunk of adhesive, which is used to trap his victims, um, straight towards Vespic. Ves uh, Vespic sees it and commands and jumps out of the way, commands her wasps to come to her as they form a sort of shield in front of her. Which make which pushes their way towards Skurik. Uh, Vespic walks behind them, and Skurik uh, tries to hide again. But the wasps are know exactly where he he is, and uh, they are following him like a, very closely. Uh, they he shoots a gunk towards the wasp shield, and it hits. But then the wasp, then extra wasps just come piling over, and pushes the wasps that have been trapped in the gunk aside. Um, the stench of Skurik doesn't seem to be affecting Vespic at all, or the wasps, in which Skurik doesn't exactly know what to do. Uh, in, and when they get right up to Vespic, uh, Skurik, Vespic grab, uh, forces her wasps to go flying straight towards Skurik, uh, stinging Skurik as they fly past. Skurik is getting stung all over the place, but not major. But uh, some of his eyes have been stung to the point where he can't see as them. As soon as the swarm cleared over, he looks back towards Vespic and sees Vespic charging over and kicks Skurik right in the side of the face, knocking him to the side. He roars at Vespic, but Vespic just uses his her claws and slashes at Skurik, causing him to um, be quiet. He shoots gunk towards her, but Vespic dives out of the way, slashes at some of his eyes, and just starts scratching out as many eyes as he can, as she can. He uh, Skurik is just writhing around, trying to get Vespic off, slamming her into trees, but Vespic keeps jumping out of the way. Vespic uses a stinger and stabs Skurik with it, infecting her with the poison. Um, so the poison, as always, will last 15 minutes. And uh, because of that, every time um, Skurik gets stung again, in example, it's not going to accelerate the time, okay? So... Um, that way, we have 15 minutes to finish the fight. But it will be done by then. Skurik um, is just writhing around. Just in pain. Um, and knowing that he has a limited time left. Which I'm hoping is up there when it's when this video gets edited. Um, he shoots Gunk towards the Vespic. Vespic is able to jump out of the way. But as Vespic landed, she just scratched her claws on one of the rocks, which caused some sparks. And that gave Vespic an idea. Uh, so she calls her wasps again to attack Skurik and just essentially cloud Skurik's vision. To the point where Skurik can't exactly see anything. She He's trying to fight them all, all off, but he doesn't know what to do. And what Vespic does, she uses her claws and just slashes at the rock, at one of the rocks nearby her. Just slashing until sparks start flying. And some of the sparks go flying into the forest, starting fire, starting a fire, starting to build up. Smoke is rising from the top of the forest. Vespic goes to another rock and does the same thing on the other side of Skurik. Keeps going like that until there's fire surrounding Skurik completely in which Vespic flies up onto a platform, summons her wasps to uh, disperse, and when Skurik is eventually able to see, he sees that he's completely surrounded by fire and is gradually building in towards him because the ground is made of grass. Skurik can feel his flesh starting to bubble up, 
causing extreme pain. Skurka is squealing, screeching in pain. And Vespic is just stood there watching. As the forest continues to burn down completely around Vespic, Vespic goes to a higher ground, so then the flames don't even reach her. And uh, she just watches her as Skurik is slowly being burnt to death. And hearing the pain, the screaming of pain from Skurik, Vespic doesn't even look back. She stares right at Skurik as she's burning, as he's burning to death. So with that, and with that, Vespic dives back into her chamber, ready for the next fight as Skurik dies. So with that, Vespic has won, Skurik has lost. If you think Skurik should have won, please in comments below why you think that. However, my word is final, and Vespic is going through to round two. Um, so, <laughs> a bit of a grim ending, but um, with that, that was the fight. I gave Vespic the victory because if she can use her wasps as a distraction, which I'm sure she can because she is a cunning beast, and then realising that she can start sparks with her claws scratching against rock. Considering Skurik's weakness, it was kind of obvious Vespic can win. Um, now, like with bugs, they can die to water, but Vespic can also die to fire, as we learned in the... Uh, old generation tournament um, and the way in which I countered that is that Vespic made sure to get to a safe distance so she doesn't burn but then um, I decided to have Vespic watch Skurik die um, which was a bit grim but ultimately is um, kind of starting a trend with some of these beasts when they win just showing how merciless and cold hearted they are I'd done this with Slivka, I'd done this with a few other beasts after Slivka, so we're starting to see a pattern here now. But with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.